Hello, welcome to Spurred on TV. I am Rhys, as you should know by now. And if you don't, go back in time, look at the other videos. This is Spursy. You'll know what Spursy is by now. Spursy is the feature where we talk about all those Spursy moments that just only happen to Spurs. Like, you know, you spend all season working really hard to qualify fourth and get Champions League. And then Chelsea go and win the Champions League in Munich against Bayern Munich, having beaten Barcelona with Fernando Torres in the team. And we don't qualify. The most hurtful thing that's happened in football in history. So this is Spursy. This week's Spursy. Adebayor. He's gone on another one of his classic Facebook tirades against his family, accusing them of all sorts of stuff, having a go at his brother for stealing a 50 grand necklace and 21 mobile phones. Mate, my brother stole a Twix from me when I was younger. You don't see me banging on about it on Facebook, although I did do a MySpace post about it, so fair enough. Uh, Adebayor. The reason this is Spursy is because just as we're getting close to being able to sell the enormous six foot four burden that is Emmanuel Adebayor. Suddenly he does something to make him completely unsellable. As in he, no one is gonna buy this absolute maniac. It's a disgrace and Levy must be absolutely gutted. Apparently Levy's even willing to take a hit now and just let him go for free, which is gonna cost him 5.2 million to do so. Well Levy, let me tell you, you're not gonna have to do that. Because other clubs out there, if you're watching this, you should buy Adebayor and you should buy him for 50 million pounds. And here's why. My top tips for buying Emmanuel Adebayor. Number one, he will play for anyone. He does not care about loyalty. He played for Arsenal, now he plays for Spurs. In January, he almost went to West Ham. He just doesn't care. He played for Man City. He probably played for the Red Manchester team, whoever they are. He played for Salford United. He's not interested in morals and loyalty. He watches EastEnders and Coronation Street. He does not give a he will sign for you, whoever you are. Scunthorpe United, 50 million. Number two, he is always good for one season. So that's the trick. Just got to sign him on a one year contract with a clause that says you definitely have to leave after this year is up and you have to leave the entire area, not just the football club, because you do just trouble follows you around, you maniac. Uh, so sign him on a one year contract. Uh, do not get sucked in by his good first year because he will score goals for you and he will look talented. Don't fall for it. Get rid of him after that one year. But 50 million for that one year. Number three, he's outspoken and honest. So yes, he may slag off your fans and say that the fans are the reason he's terrible at football and not interested, but at least you know where you stand. And where you stand is firmly in the anti your camp, sure. Number four, he will never steal anything from you, particularly a football, because he cannot keep hold of it for more than 10 seconds because he falls over and loses it constantly. He hates stealing, so you'll be safe in the dressing room. He's anti-stealing, we know that, unlike his brother, who is just obviously a thief, if Adabayor is to be believed, which he is because he's not a liar. And last, but by no means least at number five, he doesn't play by the rules, namely the offside rule. Now that might seem like a negative in football, but every team needs a maverick. Look at old American films, cop films. They always have a maverick cop who doesn't play by the rules, but he gets results. Well, how about a maverick footballer who doesn't play by the rules and doesn't get results and just eats into your wage budget and doesn't contribute to the team? Oh, we're never going to sell him, are we? Forget it. This is Spursy. I'm Rhys James. Join us next week for another Spursy thing. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and follow us at Spurred on TV. All right, this is our match preview. Now, I'm trying not to sound too upbeat because as you know, we lost to Stoke 3-0. I haven't recovered from it. I'm still depressed.